Hey homeschoolers, hope everybody are doing good and uh, every video that I release, one common question nowadays you people kept on asking is, do something for class 10, that is also Karnataka board. Okay, so I know your exams are getting started from 26th and you are left with 15 days and here I am going to give 12 days strategy uh, to revise for class 10. Okay, so this video is specially for the students who are preparing for class 10 board examination of Karnataka board whose examination is getting started from 26th onwards. Okay, so uh, I think you people are staying at home and preparing for the boards so seriously, right? If you are that kind of a person who have stopped going to school and you have you have your own plan sitting at home and preparing but still wanting some uh, timetable uh, to follow for these 15 days, okay, then this is the best video to watch. Watch till the end and before we proceed to the topic, before we proceed to the plan, you have to like the video, pause the video, first you like it and in the comment section, you comment me, yes, we are ready for 12 day strategy. Okay, so comment me and come back to the video, we will start with the strategy. See, you are left with only 12 days, right? See, all these 12 days, you have to read all the subjects, okay? See, what many people do is, you know, they keep reading only two to three subjects every day. Like if they are weak in science, they only read science. If they are weak in math, they will only read math like that. Okay. But you know what? Overall percentage is very, very important. For this overall percentage, you have to concentrate all the six subjects. Okay. Concentrate all six subjects that is mandatory. So here your goal is to improve overall percentage okay see many people say that class 10 mark is not that important you know what class 10 mark is very very important okay so if you want to do higher education in a very big institutions further, if you want to do your graduation or if you want to do your post graduation in national level institutions or global level institution, you know, 10% of class 10 marks they will consider. Okay, you should, you should definitely be scoring above 95% in class 10. Okay, so percentage is very important and if somebody says class 10 mark is not important, don't listen to them, they have lot of ignorance. Okay, so if you want to study your future uh, courses, your uh, dream courses in really big institutions, they will consider class 10 and your score has to be above 95%, keep this in mind. Okay, and in state board, 95% you can easily score okay so I will tell that also what you have to concentrate fine so point number one is this concentrate all subjects every day every day okay so all these 12 days concentrate all the six subjects see how you will break a day to study subjects see everybody have their own peak time okay some people uh, feel very active in the morning time some people feel active during night some people are very much active in the evening okay so you identify your peak time okay so what i'll tell you is identify peak time your own peak time and don't listen to your friend okay so your friend's peak time can be in the morning but you may be a night fellow, right? So don't compare. First thing is don't compare with your friends. Okay. So stop comparing. Identify your own peak time. And in that peak time, study your difficult subjects. Okay. Some people may find uh, science difficult. Some may find first language difficult. Some may find social science difficult or whatever it is. Identify the peak time and see that peak time is about at least two to three hours. Okay. So morning two to two and a half to three hours or evening two to three hours or night two to three hours. Study your difficult subject. 
okay so i don't tell difficult subject is only math or science you know for different person different subject can be difficult so that's why i have not specifically mentioned what subject to study so uh, generally i am telling find your peak time and study the difficult subject okay so at least um, you know each subject to be studied for 2 hours okay for about 2 to 3 hours difficult subject one you study and uh, for about rest of the 2 hours you know difficult subject difficult subject two you study i mean to say uh, if you find math science both difficult then uh, your most peak hours study math and uh, next peak hours study science okay so like that two hours you study your difficult subject third so if you have three difficult subject you know a lot two to two hours of time okay so then then 1 to 1.5 hours you can revise your easy subject okay so easy subject 1 and again 1 to 1.5 hours you can study your easy subject 2 and for about remaining 1 to 1.5 hours you can study easy subject 3 okay so in my plan like i I am assuming that most of the kids will have three subjects difficult and three subject easy. Based on that, I divided the time of a particular day. So every day, two hours, two hours each for three difficult subject and one to one point hours each for three difficult, uh, sorry, three easy subject. Okay, so how many hours a day you have to spend for your studies? So two, 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 six, seven, eight, nine. 10 11 to 12 hours okay so almost 11 to 12 hours you have to productively spend your time uh, for this revision for about 12 days no other go okay so this is a minimum time guys so among 24 hours you have to spend 11 to 12 hours minimum and according to your capacity and interest you can go up to 14 hours also right but this is mandatory to spend the time for rest of the 12 days right okay so now i have given a general schedule for you uh, every day like uh, how many how much time you have to spend for each subject now coming to science okay so i will give you one generalized plan to revise science right see uh, day one and two day one and day two you can keep these two days i mean uh, say 11th and 12th so day one is uh, today is 10th uh, on 10th i am releasing this video okay so uh, let me take 11th and 12th okay probably these are the two days you concentrate on chemistry chapters okay you concentrate on chemistry because uh, science even the question paper you have part a part b part c right chemistry is one part physics one part biology one part so you also study and revise part by part only okay so two days you keep a time to revise all chemistry chapters say on day one uh, you revise the chapters chemical equations reactions acid bases salts and metals and non-metals all three chapters are highly interconnected with each other right few concepts are repeated see the displacement reaction you study in uh, first chapter is repeated in the third chapter again so like that concepts are very much connected see the oxidation corrosion you will study in again both the chapters right first chapter and third chapter like that concepts are highly related no among the three chapters so first three chapters of chemistry finish it on day one and rest of the two chapters periodic table as well as carbon compound uh, revise it on day two okay and don't study anything new okay so this is very important guys so let me write the points here okay so hope you people have uh, noted this plan and let me mention the bullet points that you have to follow during science revision okay don't study new things okay see if you uh, don't know a particular concept okay if you want to study that concept afresh then it will not work out in these 12 days guys practically it will not work out 
okay so don't study the new things what you have to day what you have to do here is revise revise okay revise the things or concepts that you already know that you already know or already perfect okay this this 12 day strategy is to revise whatever you already know it is not the time to study something very much new that will not practically work out okay you will be wasting your time if you start studying something new okay so if you know 90% of the subject that 90% only you revise in this 12 days chances are there to score more mark okay see if you start studying the new things you will not get time to revise right so when you don't revise this new things you will forget and that old things that you already knew that also you will forget okay so that will not work out guys this point is very very important okay and you know what uh, after day 1 and 2 on day 3 on day 3 okay work on work on question papers okay question papers related to chemistry okay right from 2021 onwards the question papers are stream wise this part a part b part c system has come so you can collect 2021 question paper 22 question paper 23 uh, year question paper and those years sample question papers are also available in the internet everything you download okay so after you revise the first two days on the third day 21 question paper 22 paper 23 paper and those years sample question papers this years preparatory paper this years sample question papers you work okay because in the sslc examination no matter which subject most of the questions will come from previous year question papers previously what concepts they concentrated the same things may reappear okay so at this moment in the nth moment working question papers and sample papers is important okay so fine so 3 days you kept for chemistry it's over so now day 4 day 4 and day 5 you keep it for physics you keep it for physics okay so uh, uh, for physics also uh, there are five chapters right so uh, electricity and magnetic effect you can finish it in one day light human eye and sources of energy you can finish it in day 2 of physics okay and again on day 6 day 6 same thing you have to work on question papers so here qp means question papers so the same years question papers everything you work it okay and coming to coming to day 7 and day 8 okay you keep it for revising biology chapters okay and on day 9 you can work with question papers relating to biology part the same years question paper biology part you can work okay so likewise branch wise you finish okay your revision then day 10 day 11 and day 12 okay so take one question paper like you can you can download uh, 2019 question paper okay and 2018 question paper okay and here uh, july question paper will be there march question paper will be there so three question papers you download from internet okay so uh, in these question papers you will find you will not find uh, branch wise questions you will find all questions combined okay but no problem or not only these question papers any other question papers if your teachers are providing in a school or you got it through whatsapp or whatever it is take any three different question papers other than this you have finished working this branch wise right other than this take any other three question papers and write the exam write the exam on day 10 one exam okay on one question paper day 11 one exam on one question paper and day 12 also one exam on one question paper you work guys okay and whenever you work with the questions of question papers and sample papers you have to write the answer many people will make this mistake science they will just read and revise that will not work out 
okay you have to work it like a maths only you should put your pen onto a paper and then work you will remember all chemical equations you have to write and practice okay so biology be careful with the diagram part they are very 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 important okay so this is how you can revise science no tension no stress just to go with these question papers guys most of the concepts will be covered okay so and again i'm telling you don't start studying the new things which you don't know just work on the things that you already know just do a smart work here okay that will definitely improve your mark and what i will do for you in these 12 days is i will also contribute something for you okay so before you listen to what i will do in a channel for you all regarding science please comment in a comment section that you will follow this time table to revise science okay and just share how many of you are going to follow this time table okay for about 12 days share your opinion in the comment box and like like the video and this is the time to share this video to your friends also so i kindly request you to share this video to all of your friends as much as possible okay fine and now let me tell you from my side what i will do for you all for 2024 batch to improve your score i will come up with like you know uh, uh within day 1 day 2 and day 3 i will release one video okay where i will explain all important concepts of chemistry okay i will come up with i will come up with all important concepts that you have to focus under chemistry and uh, uh, you know uh, within day 4 day 5 and day 6 okay video can be released any day among these three okay i will release a video on all physics chapters and uh, among these three days okay within these three days i will release a video on biology concepts and after day 9 you know within these three days i will come up with the general tricks and tips that you have that you can follow in some of the concepts to remember the concepts easily okay so i'll come up majorly with the four video four videos one video on chemistry one video on physics one video on biology and one overall video so uh, uh, um, within 12 days i will come up with four videos so where i'll be explaining you different concepts i'll be sharing the tricks and tips okay among some of the concepts that you have to be follow okay so that is all about this video guys so if you like the video just like it share share this video with all your friends and let let us help everyone to score the mark don't be jealous that okay uh, i will only study i'll not share it to my friend no the more you share the more marks you will always get actually many people will miss this logic okay so sharing has everything so even the four videos uh, with which i will come up next those videos also share it to the maximum friends let them take uh, the, the help okay got to know so here it is not a comparing percentage between you and your friend okay it is you scoring above 95 for your future okay it's not like yes i should only get 95 my friend should not get that attitude it should not have everybody let them get whoever uh, you know they are uh, deserve to get mark right so you aim yourself like you compare with yourself that you work to a such an extent that you have to get above 95 okay so that's it guys so we will meet you all in the next video so hope you like the plan if you like it you can follow and implement right away right so thank you so much